Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Aloha Lahad family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys We'll be reacting to uh, Taman Tugu Forest In Kuala Lumpur, uh, Malaysia This video was suggested by Hamirul uh, Azim Terima kasih Thank you very much Shukran mercy For taking the time to send me your recommendation and uh, suggestion The video is by Remote uh, Darren And the link is in the description In case you guys wanted to uh, check it out So I uh, will get started with the video in just a couple of uh, seconds And at the end of the video I'll share with you guys my observation and uh, reaction so if you guys want to see that please stay until uh, the end of the video and now let's get started with the video welcome back to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia today we are exploring Taman Tuga let's get on with the day and explore so this here is the start I, I really like his park, accent super cool it's going to be our first destination today wow, and as you can see sauce. the place is absolutely beautiful and it's really well kept as well so we've got a sculpture here. You know, I here. love places that have Stainless warm weather. Steel. It looks beautiful here. Oh wow. So nice. Other than the sound That's of the nice. grass cutters, it's such a peaceful place to come and relax. And it is also worth mentioning that entrance is absolutely free of charge. Wow. So nice just to you know, lie down by the water there and relax and get rid of all your stress <laughs> so yes i highly recommend coming here just having a wander around the wow. sculpture park a few shaded areas for you to relax i thought we would have a quick look at the war memorial i have been here a few times mm. before it is a bit okay. of a tourist hotspot so it oh, does wow. get quite busy I tend to find a lot of chinese tourists come here in the coaches so they're only here for a couple of minutes and then they're off dedicated to the fighters the cool. in the cause of peace and freedom it's a beautiful mm. memorial it really is you can see the skyscrapers that will be Dang. kl central and kl park the botanical gardens but yes as you can see it's fairly busy oh it's beautiful Lots of people around I'm loving the fence Kind of mix of art deco and I'm not too sure what else. Cool. It's a little bit Arabic. Absolutely beautiful architecture though. Loving yeah, this. I agree. Anyway, let's get really on nice. to Mount Hugu oh. and go and explore around there. Looking forward to it. Oh wow. So thick with trees. So this is the entrance nice. to the trails. We're going through the nursery entrance. And believe it or not, entrance is absolutely free. The good thing is the trail does have signposts, so you're not likely to get lost. It also has educational boards telling you about the plants and nature around us. There are a few steps, so make sure you bring suitable walking shoes just so you've got some grip as you're walking around, especially if it's been raining. Hope you are all enjoying the video so far. Just hard to believe that all of this is in the middle of the city. Yes, if you don't like climbing up and down steps, maybe not the best place to come, but if you want to see the nature and wildlife, well, I don't know I about wildlife, the nature, but you know. nature, then definitely come here. I'm loving it so far. That's beautiful. I like how it's so quiet and you can actually hear the you animals, the grasshoppers. The no problem, they've even got little seats here. Just listen That's to That's so sounds. cool. At the moment we're in the phase one trails, but there's a phase two, which is where the campsite is. And then we've got phase three, which they're currently building, I believe. So apparently this is the route to the nursery, but this is the route that we are going to continue on. And as you can see, there's a signpost, so we know where we're going. As you can see, I am sweating. <laughs> <laughs> this is good exercise for me. Just listen. Mental as well as physical. Yes, 
yes i will just reiterate the point if you come here make sure you are wearing good trainers with good grips or ideally walking boots or trainers like i've got i've got walking trainers probably doesn't look very steep on camera but <laughs> it's quite steep you've got to be really careful as you're walking down the good thing is they have thought of everything you've got a rope to hold on to as you climb yeah, that's nice. wow i can't see how fantastic this is loving it just see how big these trees are i have to say that this is literally one of the best signposted trails i've been on it's really helping you to guide your way around i would say it's a beginner hike it's not too tough obviously at the moment i seem to be going down into the valley when I have to come back up, that might be completely different. <laughs> These flowers are beautiful, I'm not too sure what they are. And yes, more steps to go down. This is good exercise. The water down here is very brown. Now, naturally you might think, well, it's obviously really dirty water, but it isn't. It's actually got a high content of iron, and that is the reason why it's got the brown colour. And I'm sounding oh. really intelligent, but honestly, it was just like a mission board. <laughs> You can get a closer look at the water here. It's very brown. So yeah, lots of iron in it. And today we are exploring the jungle of Kuala Lumpur with the rare, rare koala lizards who can eat a oh, man. Oh, what a fly. I'm loving these leaves here. Detail on them, the colors. So some parts of the trail are a little bit muddy so just bear that in mind with your foot in as you're walking around see you do think you'd be going on a hike today with me did you huh <laughs> loving all of these man-made bridges i am sweating like crazy <laughs> the humidity in the jungle just being careful where I walk ah. not too sure which direction to go no signposts so okay, I don't know I'm going in the right direction just couldn't find any signs hopefully he doesn't get lost but we're now on the main path seen quite a few lizards not seen any snakes yet or anything like that. Look at these leaves. Beautiful. This place is just... Wow. It's just absolutely incredible. I've no idea how long it took them to build these trails but wow, what an amazing job they've done. All the signposts, just being able to explore the nature. So right now we've got two routes. We've either got this route which will take us back to the nursery or we continue up here and go to the campsite exit. I think that's the route we're going to go. I didn't realise there was a campsite here. They have campsites too. Wow. Me think. Maybe I should get a tent. That'd be nice. And come and camp. Camping here. Mm. Although to be honest, I'll probably keep everybody awake with my snoring. I once went camping with my brother Liam and Andrew, and they could hear me at the other side of the campsite. I was that's noisy snoring. I think I've got a little bit better as I lost some weight, but oh, look at the size of these leaves. Wow. Wow. Bloody hell. So for the campsite entrance, we can either go for a walk of 127 metres or 275. We're going to go the longer one this way. I'm enjoying this so much. I know I keep saying this, but seriously, don't be worried about coming here and walking around. Everywhere is signposted. The good thing with the GoPro is I can walk and the camera isn't crazy jumping around. And it's all stabilised and... It makes you feel that you are walking around with me. So right now, Mum, okay, we're nice. walking through the jungle, the forest here in Kuala Lumpur. How cool is that? Cool and beautiful. 
those these leaves are big too they even have swings here oh, uh, <laughs> how cool is that who would have thought in the middle of like a, so a forest or a park you'd find that site exit i think i'm gonna turn around and actually continue exploring that's how much i'm enjoying this walk today do you know something? This morning, I didn't want to come out and explore. I wanted to be lazy and stay in my apartment. But I'm so glad that I came out because this has just been an absolutely fantastic hike. And we've not even finished it. There's like phase two. If you come in anywhere in Kuala Lumpur really, but especially somewhere like this, where there's not a great deal of shelter, is bring a raincoat or an umbrella. Raincoat's probably easy to carry, you can just put it in your backpack. But I definitely recommend doing that because if it does rain, at least you are protected with a, a waterproof coat. And yes, you do have to be occasionally careful of the tree roots. <laughs> Don't trip over. Trying to capture the butterflies that keep flying around me, but never get my camera out in time. <laughs> but water area. Going? doesn't seem to be as brown here, the water, so there's obviously not as much iron in the soil here. Okay, let's continue huh. on this. There's one butterfly. Oh, I might have got a butterfly in shot then, I don't know. Just flew past me. <laughs> there's quite a lot of steps here. So I'm definitely not going back wow. the easiest route. <laughs> so we do have some oil palm trees. Wow. And the worrying thing about these trees is that they're getting cut down at an alarming rate. And obviously that's having an impact on wildlife. It's just yet another example of how those humans are having an impact on the planet. And also, to mention, it's midweek, so not many people out, obviously, locals, because they're working. But I've literally seen two people in the time that I've been walking on this trail. Okay, it's time to climb up, and I'm not looking forward to this. The other thing that I would say is make sure you bring mosquito spray. Whilst there's not an issue with malaria in this part of the world, dengue fever is definitely a problem, so... Always make sure you bring plenty of mosquito spray. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. Why am I doing this? Oh, I'm watching Netflix. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the good exercise though. the hardest route back, didn't you? You could have gone the easy route, but no. Wow. Oh dear. Oh my days. So you bring your breakfast and uh, lunch, oh, you know. I've done. You go home and you sleep really 20 well. 20 minutes of cardio this morning in the gym. Definitely will be going back for a swim when I get back to my apartment. We are nearly there. I've seen a ton of lizards today, but I've not been able to catch them because they're so damn quick. We made it, explorers. We did it. High five, high five. <laughs> oh. My God, we did it. Good for you, man. It's awesome. Achievement. Loved it. Come here, definitely. Next time, I'm going to do the longer trails. Today, I just wanted to get a feel of the place. I am definitely coming back here. Love it. What a sense of achievement. I would definitely say that those are beginner trails. Wow, if you're looking for something to start off doing little hikes and stuff, then definitely recommend here. These have been eaten alive, these leaves. Look at them. And wow. all sorts of bugs, I guess. Oh, wow, does anybody know what these are? I have never seen that before. I'm probably going to sound really stupid. I know I am. I know people are going to roll their eyes and say, Darren, don't you know that is whatever it is? But wow. Hey, I don't know what it is, too. Tree. It's got it's unique spices. fruits and stuff all over the world. Well, explorers, I hope you enjoyed your hike today. I know I did. If you have enjoyed nice. it, please do give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. We're yeah. trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. We're getting so, so close. So close. Nice. He's at 23 <laughs> now. We're going to be back soon <laughs> with a new video from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. That's really, really cool, guys. That park was beautiful. Most of all, right? I like the fact that there was nobody else but uh, him in the trails. And 
it was so nice and quiet you can just hear the grasshoppers and you can hear a little bit of the, the birds and then you know you saw the butterflies and uh, it was it was nice and i like the fact that uh, it's nice and warm as uh, human beings we we need to be uh around nature within nature in in japan like a while back uh, they said they did a experiment what they uh, did was basically they took some people and they uh, monitored their stress levels in city and then they took him and basically took him to like some forest and hiking and whatnot right and what they noticed were that people were more stressed in city environment and they were less uh, stressed in uh, those forested uh, area and that's because i think as human beings we're not used to being in places that are for example just uh, filled with noise and just buildings and stuff right because we're to some extent animals uh, as well right so we we're more comfortable being around trees in the environment um with other animals which is uh, kind of nice so you know if you guys are able to once in a while head out uh, put yourself in that environment so we can all you know de-stress especially in in these uh, difficult times that everybody around the world is uh, going through so thank you very much guys for suggesting this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, as you guys know inshallah my goal is to visit uh, malaysia as well as indonesia once the channel hits a million subscribers so if you haven't yet please consider subscribing to the channel and help me reach a million subscribers so i can come and check out kuala lumpur uh, malaysia so thanks again guys take care of yourself and your family and inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care Thank you.